Be Free Driving Score. This video shows what the new UK driving test will look like from the 4th of December 2017. When you arrive at the driving test centre, you await in the waiting area. When the examiner calls your name, you will need to show your driving theory test certificate and your provisional driving licence. If you have the old style paper licence, you will also need a valid UK passport. You will be asked to read and sign the residency and insurance declaration. The examiner will ask you, do you want someone to sit in the back during the test? And do you want someone to be with you for the result and the feedback at the end? You can take your driving instructor or anybody who's over the age of 16 years old. You will then go outside and identify which car you are driving. You will be asked to read a license plate. You must be able to read an old style license plate from at least 20.5 metres or a new style license plate from 20 metres. The examiner will ask you to get into the car while they take some details outside the car. You will then be asked one tell me question where you will explain how you would carry out the following safety checks. Tell me how you check that the brakes are working before starting a journey. You would explain that when you touch the brakes, they should not feel spongy or slack. Brakes should be tested as you set off. The vehicle should not pull to one side. Tell me where you'd find the information for the recommended tyre pressures for this car and how tyre pressures should be checked. You would explain that you would find the information in the manufacturer's guide. You would use a reliable pressure gauge, check and adjust pressures when tyres are cold, and that you would not forget to check the spare tyre and refit the valve caps. Tell me how you make sure your head restraint is correctly adjusted so it provides the best protection in the event of a crash. You would explain that the head restraint should be adjusted so that the rigid part is at least as high as the eye or top of the ears and as close to the back of the head as possible. Tell me how you check the tyres to ensure that they have sufficient tread depth and that their general condition is safe to use on the road. You would explain that the tyres should not have any cuts or bulges and should have 1.6 millimetres of tread depth across the central three quarters of the breadth of the tyre and around the entire outer circumference. Tell me how you check that the headlights and taillights are working. Explain that you would operate the switch, turn on the ignition if necessary, then walk around the vehicle. Tell me how you'd know if there was a problem with your anti-lock braking system. Explain that the ABS warning light should illuminate if there is a fault with the anti-lock braking system. Tell me how you check the direction indicators are working. Explain that you would operate the switch, turn on the ignition if necessary, then walk around the vehicle. Tell me how you check the brake lights are working on this car. Explain that you would operate the brake pedal and make use of reflections in windows or doors or ask someone to help. Tell me how you check the power assisted steering is working before starting a journey. Explain that the steering wheel should not feel heavy. You can make two checks. Check one, apply gentle pressure on the steering wheel while starting the engine. Check two, turning the steering wheel as you move away. Tell me how you'd switch on the rear fog lights and explain when you would use them. Explain that you would operate the switch, turn on dipped headlights and ignition if necessary, 
and you would use them when visibility is reduced to less than 100 metres. Tell me how you'd switch your headlight from dipped to main beam and explain how you'd know the main beam is on. Explain that you would operate the switch with ignition or engine on if necessary and that you would check the main beam warning light which is a blue light. Tell me how you'd check that the engine has sufficient oil. Explain that you would open the bonnet, take out the dipstick, wipe it, dip it back in and take it back out and then you would check the levels between the minimum and maximum markers. Tell me how you check that the engine has sufficient engine coolant. Explain that you would open the bonnet, check the levels between the minimum and maximum markers. Tell me how you check that you have a safe level of hydraulic brake fluid. Explain that you would open the bonnet and check the levels between the minimum and maximum markers. The examiner will then explain that the test will last for about 40 minutes. 20 minutes will be an independent drive. You will do one reversing manoeuvre. You may possibly do an emergency stop. And they will ask you one show me question whilst you are driving. The independent drive will last for 20 minutes. You will either follow verbal directions, follow road signs, or follow directions using a sat nav. The examiner will supply the sat-nav and the examiner will operate and set the route on the sat-nav so you do not have to touch the sat-nav. Don't worry if you go the wrong way. As long as you drive safely, you won't be penalised. You may be asked to complete an emergency stop. If so, to simulate an emergency, your examiner will raise his or her hand and call out stop. You must stop promptly and safely. You will be asked to carry out one of the following reversing manoeuvres. Parallel parking, pull over on the right, or bay parking. Parallel parking. The pink car will pull up next to the blue car and reverse back and parallel park behind it. Finishing within two car lengths. Pulling over on the right. The blue car will signal when it finds somewhere safe and convenient to pull over on the right. Once the car has pulled over on the right, it will reverse back for two car lengths. When it is safe, the blue car will signal and then move away, rejoining traffic on the left hand side of the road. Bay parking. You will be asked to bay park in one of two ways. Either reversing into a parking bay and then driving forwards out or driving forwards into a parking bay and then reversing out. Whilst you are driving the examiner will ask you one of these show me questions. When it is safe to do so show me how switch on your dipped headlight wash and clean the rear windscreen wash and clean the front windscreen demist the front windscreen set the rear demister operate the horn open and close the side window At the end of the test, the examiner will give you your result. You will fail if you receive one or more serious or dangerous faults, or more than 15 driving faults. We hope you found this video helpful. Feel free to contact us if you have any questions.